Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Lucy and I make videos mainly about perfume. So if that sounds like something you're into, I would love it if you would consider subscribing to my channel and sticking around here. So today I'm gonna to be talking about two of my recent blind buy perfume purchases. And I made both of these purchases on FragranceNet, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite places to buy perfumes just because you can get them at such a good price. And both of the perfumes I will be talking about today are ones I've had my eye on on FragranceNet and I just decided to bite the bullet. So the first one I picked up is Insolence by Guerlain. And I do really love Guerlain as a fragrance house. One of my favorite fragrances ever is Mon Guerlain, so I decided to try out another one. And then the other blind buy purchase I made was Elisab Le Parfum. And basically I was just looking at the notes of this perfume online and thought it would be a nice summer white floral. So I just wanted to go in depth and give you guys a full review of both of these perfumes. I've had them for about a week now, so I have been able to test their longevity and their projection and all that good stuff. I will give you guys a rundown of the notes and how I feel about the way that they smell. So first of all, I was super happy to buy these both at a very low price. I believe I purchased Insolence for around $35, which is a pretty great deal. The reason I was able to buy it so cheap is that this is actually a tester bottle that was just never used. So this is the first tester bottle I've purchased off of FragranceNet, and 10 out of 10, I recommend. And it came in this plain white box. Of course, it does have the skew here, and that matches the one at the bottom of the perfume bottle. And I believe I got this little Ellie Saab perfume for around $30. This is a one ounce perfume. I normally prefer to buy one ounce perfumes because I do have a growing collection, and perfume doesn't last forever, so I'd rather buy a small bottle that I know I can get through. So now that I've covered cost and everything, I will get into my reviews of these perfumes and let's go ahead and start off with Insolence by Guerlain. Now I know the French pronunciation of this is more like Insolence, but I don't want to butcher that so I'm gonna be calling it Insolence for now. So the main reason I had my eye on this perfume for so long is because it is a violet perfume and I just absolutely love the scent of violet. It reminds me of my mom and my grandma because my mom told me that growing up she would go to the store and buy my grandma violet perfume like pure violet perfume. So it just kind of reminds me of my family and I just wanted to have a perfume that was mainly a violet perfume. Now other than having a strong violet accord, this perfume also does have a lot of iris to it. It is very soapy, powdery, strong. I have heard some people describe this as a very grandma scent. So it is kind of old fashioned and very, very powdery, very heavy on the iris, but nonetheless, I wanted to try it. I did end up going with the Eau de Toilette version instead of the Eau de Parfum. Okay, so let's go over the notes of Insolence. We have violet, iris, red berries, and orange blossom. So not too many notes. Now, I really do have to be honest with you guys. I have gone back and forth with this perfume ever since I got it. At first, I really wasn't sure about it. I didn't know if this is something that I could actually wear. It's just very strong and potent and powdery and soapy to the point that when I first smelled it, I was like, oh no, no, no. But then I let it dry down on my wrist and I really got hit by the beautiful violet and it's like a sugary sweet violet and it does have that berry note in there so that kind of helps to make it a little bit more juicy and less straight up powder in your face. I really do think that the longer this is on your skin the more beautiful it becomes but I have to say this is a very polarizing perfume and I would not recommend this to everyone. It's not a safe blind buy by any means, but I do think that the right person will really enjoy this scent. There's something that's very special about it, and I think it would have to be worn on the right occasion, but if it is worn on the right occasion, it would be absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and just spray this on my skin. So when you spray it, right away you get this freshness 
you get a very sweet violet complemented by that berry note. It smells so much better on the skin than it does in the bottle. And I do get that orange blossom. That could also be another reason why I have kind of gone back and forth on this perfume. I don't normally like orange blossom. It's just a little bit too sharp for me. I much prefer gardenia or jasmine for my white florals. That being said, there are some orange blossom perfumes that I do really enjoy. But yeah, I think once it dries down a little bit, you get this like fluffiness and powdery sweetness and it's just so overly feminine and girly. I just imagine like a beautiful silk slip dress and one of those like super furry white coats, faux fur of course, but just a very bougie outfit and somebody who's just very confident pulling this off. So overall, I think that although I was a little confused on my opinion of this perfume, I think I've just realized that I just need to spray it on my skin and then I will like it. And I'm super excited to wear this with a very bougie outfit one day. Now, as far as which season I think this is appropriate for, I would actually say colder weather just because it is so potent and strong. I think in the heat, it might be too overbearing to yourself and the people around you. So I do think this is best for colder weather. I would probably say transitional seasons like spring and fall. It really would be beautiful in the spring on a colder day or at nighttime or just for a special occasion. I just do think this smells fancy. Very, very fancy. Also, can we just take a moment to appreciate this beautiful bottle? I'm obsessed with it. It has little bees in the glass. Just look at that. So I'm very excited to display this one as well. I also do have to mention that I did test this out and the longevity and projection and overall performance of this perfume are outstanding. Do not overspray this perfume, just don't. You only need one to two sprays. So if you love perfumes with great performance, this is one to check out. This is one to check out. Okay, so now let's move on to my review of Elisab Le Parfum. I'm so, so glad I picked this one up. I really like it. The reason I picked this up is because I was looking for a nice summer white floral scent and I found it. I really think this is such a beautiful, classy perfume and it's perfect for the summer. And the reason I love this so much for the summer is that it really doesn't have much warmth to it. It's a very cold white floral, which looking at the notes, I would never have guessed, but I am so excited because I think this is actually going to be beautiful in the heat. Mm, and it smells so beautiful, you guys. It's so classy and elegant. So let's go over the notes of Elisab Le Parfum. The top note is African orange flower, the middle note is jasmine, and the base notes are white honey, patchouli, rose, and Virginia cedar. Now I absolutely I absolutely love that this perfume is sweetened with honey instead of vanilla. I think that there are so many white floral perfumes out there with vanilla in the base and I think it just adds that bit of uniqueness to have honey instead. It smells so naturally sweet and it just reminds me of nature and being on a walk outside and being surrounded by beautiful flowers. So I do want to just spray her really quick. I absolutely love jasmine in perfumes. It's definitely one of my favorite notes of all time, but this is unique because it's not too sweet and it's not too warm. It's really a classy, refreshing floral perfume. As I mentioned earlier in this video, orange blossom is definitely a note that can be tricky for my nose, but I think the way that the orange flower is blended with the jasmine and the honey in this one is really beautiful and I don't mind the orange flower in here at all. And I also love the fact that this has cedar in the base note because that gives it a nice woody dry down, which I always appreciate in perfume. Now, as far as the season I think this is most appropriate for, I've already said it in this video like 15 times, but I'll say it again. Definitely summer. I think it's a beautiful summer floral. I think this would make a great daytime, everyday scent. I think it would also be great for the office or for work. I will also say that there is something sexy about this perfume and I do think it would be a nice date night perfume as well. 
So overall, I'm very happy with my purchase of this perfume. I love how versatile it is and how classy it smells. And overall, it's just a great addition to my collection. I do want to show you guys a closer look at this bottle. It's so pretty and it looks really nice next to the rest of my collection as well. And lastly, I want to talk about the performance of this perfume. So I would say the longevity and the projection are both very decent. It's definitely not the same performance you're going to get with a perfume like Insolence, but honestly this is ideal for me for summer. It's just more of a light white floral scent, so it's not going to have crazy projection or crazy longevity, but it is going to last a good amount of hours, and this is one that you can definitely overspray a little bit, and it won't be too overwhelming because it is a super light classy scent. All right guys, so that is all I have to share for this video. I really hope that you found it helpful or at the very least enjoyable. Let me know which one of these perfumes you would most like to try in the comments down below. And if any of you guys own these perfumes, I would love to know your thoughts on them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!